Okay, here's the uh, Swan 700. I'm going to follow the steps for the first part of the receiver alignment. And what they're saying is do the second IF can here, which is called L301, and then go to 10 meters and do the L105. So, the biggest, hardest problem with this is locating the cans. Anyway, we're now on 20 meters. Tune it for background noise. And I have no antenna on here at all. No antenna. Anyway, here's the IF can right here. The IF can is opposite the meter. Here's the S meter. There's the IF can. Tune that for best noise. It's pretty broad. Is there a second slug down in there or not? No, there's not. One slug, so that's all you do on that. Then, go to 10 meters. Now on 10 meters, do the grid thing again. Get the grid noise loud. Like that. And now, you're going to find a coil, which you can look at the bottom of it. And find this coil here. The coil is called... Receive coil 10, right there. Alright, so... Tilt the radio down without getting shot. There it is. Yeah. Disasters. And locate the coil. It's right here. How do we know it's right there? Well, use the lid. And you don't need to take that off of that coil, but it's basically that one there. As you can see, it's right there. So it's right there. And it's this one here. So go to the middle of the 10 meter band. Make sure you're pretty much in the middle of the 10 meters. Keep this for max noise. You're done. That completes the first steps of the receiver alignment. Now we're going to do the transmitter alignment in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.